We got Clark Gregg. We got Dean Fredita Tulsa. We got James Ajomian. All right. Well, welcome back. It's time for the rant wheel. There's the rant wheel, you guys. It's going to land on something. Mr. Gregg. How can you see that? Um, okay. Oh, what do I want to rant about? Okay. What's up with these new Republicans? The old ones I understood. I grew up with them. They hated communism and KGB agents. <laughs> Everybody wants to take a va vacation with Vladimir Putin from that party. I don't understand. They loved a good war. They were big fans of a good war. We have a perfectly good war against some communists, and all they want to do is stop funding it. I don't really understand that. The other thing is that I'm trying to keep track of the reproductive freedom stuff, but let me get this straight. You don't want there to be abortions, but you also don't want there to be birth control? So where in the birth process do you want to start murdering people? Or is it later once they get into like preschool? I just, I find the whole thing completely confusing. And IVF, that's not okay? I don't, I'm, I'm completely confused by them. I was much more comfortable with the like predictable lockjaw William F. Buckley's I grew up with. I mean, they at least had good country clubs. You can't even count on that anymore. <laughs> All right. Clark Gregg, sticking it to those new Republicans. Let's go back to the rant wheel. Oh. Yes. Dean Tolson, is it on you to rant? It is on me to rant. There's so many things I hate. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll be thematic, right? Voter suppression, right? Voter suppression is as old as the union, um, but we have to do better. This is like, what? We, we're almost 200 and some odd years into this thing. Um, we have to get to a place where we allow more people to vote. It should not be so hard to vote. Even in California, where it's easier to vote relative to other places, I sit there with my eight-page ballot, pulling my hair out, trying to figure out these different offices and who these people are, right? It's just, there has to be a better way to do it in this country, and we don't spend enough time trying to figure out solutions because we are spending too much time trying to just win. And we justify it by saying that the, you know, the, the ends justify the means. Um, and as long as we have that mindset, then we will never get ahead as a country. We have to stop assuming that America will always be the number one country in the world. The democracy, we have to fight for it. We have to be better towards each other. We have to be better as a collective and not just individuals. That's a good rant. Mm -hmm. All I right, back to the rant wheel. Adomian, it's on you. I'm spending a lot of time uh, wasting time on bad, dumb video games on my mobile phone. Uh, I play, I'm playing the ones where um, there's an army of dudes and they have a number floating above their head. <laughs> and you can, you can walk around and anything under your number you can fuck up. So you're, it, it, you're, you, you say 15 and then you see, you see like a, a bunch of like salamanders in armor and it says seven times two and you're like, we can fucking get it. <laughs> and then a sea monster rises and it's like, and it says the square root of 400 and you're like, uh, high level calculus on the field of battle and then you lose. But they don't give you the dignity of just wasting your time and playing the game again. They make you sit through an ad for an even dumber game. <laughs> And you can't close it, because if you close the X, you download it. And I keep getting the ad for the dumb king, who's like, there's fire and water. Well, how did he become king of this monarchy? I'm on level 1200 of the dumb king game. <laughs> also, are you playing a math learning game? I'm t I started dumb and it got dumb. <laughs> All right, let's go to the rant wheel. I wonder who it will be. <laughs> I, for one, am shocked that it is me. <laughs> okay, you can't release your show and say that it's a limited series and then have your show do well and say, oops, no, it's gonna be a regular series because you already <laughs> killed off your most interesting character, Shogun. Wow. And oops, I'm sorry, spoilers, but also Shogun forced me to do it. It's an amazing show and I love it, but it will never be as good again because they told a complete story, kind of. James, did you watch all of Shogun? The last episode is not an ending. The last episode is the main character saying, 
I dreamed about a battle. And it's like, oh, well, if you knew that your story wasn't done, you should have just given them more money to make a good show or said that there would be a second season. This is exactly what Clark was talking about. Those corporations are destroying our perfectly good 1980s somewhat Orientalist novels <laughs> that new showrunners have turned into more progressive and interesting television. Shogun is really good, but it's over. The lady's dead. Dean Tolson, have you watched Shogun yet? No. I just ruined it for you, but also it's real good. I won't remember. <laughs> we'll always have we'll always have the Milton Bradley game <laughs> from the from the eighties. The there precursor, was a Shogun Milton ba Bradley precursor game? to Axis and Allies. Yeah. Clark, do you ever get sad that you don't get to be in like a nineteen eighties broadcast television TV movie where people just like talk in rooms for four hours? <laughs> MOW? Yes, a, a nice. A, no, but I'm talking. I'm talking miniseries. I'm talking about oh, yeah. eight hours of Herman Wook. The, the oh. Thornbirds. <laughs> North and South. North and South. I like Andrew Thornbirds. Stevens. Get sexy. Get yes. sexy. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever see uh, Napoleon and Josephine? No, who was in it? Oh my God! It was Armando Sante as Napoleon. Wonderful. Perfect. Wonderful. In English, the way it needs to. Probably be. made for a dollar and a half. Probably with sweeping <laughs> battle scenes with nine people in them. That's entertainment. And Mr. Papadopoulos <laughs> is also in that it. That was seeing people from network broadcast shows right. on like a movie of the week or um, a miniseries was always like, how am I supposed to suspend my belief? This is Webster's dad. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm sorry I did that. What is your favorite? Um, I, uh, yes. I did it. What did you do? A woman named Jackie. Oh, fuck. Roma Downey has oh my nation's God. first lady. That's that's fucking glorious. Was that a, fantastic. Was that a movie of the week or was that a miniseries? Because I remember that being it iconic. Was, it was more than one episode, I believe. Did you? Uh, who did you play? Kenny O'Donnell, the president's chief of staff, who went out with him and Marilyn. Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> that's so much fun. Yes. Isn't it gorgeous to have a career? <laughs> that's. I thought you were going to say to be old, but no. I'll take either one. <laughs> I mean, six of one, half dozen the other. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. That is our show. Thank you so much to Mr. James Adomian, Dean Tolson, and the amazing Clark Craig. <laughs>